Okay, so I called DHS today again because I was told over the phone he was denied for Medicaid. And he got kicked off Medicaid. Brandon did our autistic son about uh, end of March. And I've been trying to get him some medical insurance because we've been having to pay cash for his uh, psychiatrist and his doctor's visits and everything. And he needs eyeglasses and tons of other stuff. And if he goes off his meds, he's not good. So um, when I called DH... HS today, see my sloppy writing, but um, it was sent to the wrong case due to his social security file. So now they're going to call and register it, whatever that means. She said it was very hard to explain, so she couldn't explain it to me. And um, now she'll register it, and I don't know how long that'll take. She says we'll get some stuff in the mail if they need more info or whatever. And, and it's like, I'm just a nervous wreck over this whole thing. See, he sent the wrong case. They're going to register it due to the Social Security. And see, that's what I was telling Social Security on the phone, was I was afraid he was being denied for Medicaid because the Social Security issue, where they have the mistakes through there, that they have um, one decision instead of two, meaning they, they, they approved Brandon on his own, but they didn't prove Brandon on his dad's case because his dad is disabled now and on disability and ham MS and so see everything's been screwed up but I have not known any of this and I've been sitting here just waiting waiting you know in the meantime I was calling and stuff and it wasn't getting any information from Social Security um, now supposedly they're supposed to send in the case again for a review to get it approved on on the second decision which it which doesn't make sense to me and the DHS lady says she can't explain anything to me. I, we need help. And, um, this is hard for me to function. And then this teacher was calling today because she said Brandon's acting weird and, um, he doesn't get enough sleep on the weekends as it is. And then another problem is I have the bank calling me, the bank calling myself, my home, and texting me because Somebody got a hold of our bank card and who the hell knows how and tried to put um, something through for a motel. It's coming up Birmingham AL and they did two times there and they tried to put through for Uber and then they mentioned Netflix which that would be me anyway but now I have to go through and call my car payment and change everything. I don't even have a new debit card, so I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that. Um, I mean, I mean, this is like, what, day 11 of recovery. Okay, I don't know what I'm recovering from. Like I said in my other videos, I need, I need, I'm depressed and I need to recover from all these issues, those mistakes that people are making. These things affect me. And um, I think what happens is I try to, I try to blame myself like I'm, I'm the one and I'm happy to find out that I'm not the one who's making the mistakes and not like it would be that, oh, I'm not, you know, great or anything. It's just that with all these different issues going on, you tend to blame yourself. And um, most of the time, it isn't even you. So as I sit here and cry from all the stress today, especially the bank calling me and we got a fraud thing going on our bank, I don't understand how any of this stuff happens. And um, this is how come that I can't get out. And um, I would love to visit people and I have some phone calls to make that I told people that I was going to call and um, it's just not possible. I have a friend who tells me to maybe set up a GoFundMe account, but I feel... I feel kind of funny about that because I haven't been able to go out and help anybody else like that. I mean, a long time ago I used to do those things. I used to always help others and I would put them ahead of me. And um, I know doing things from a long time ago doesn't make up for today, but um, if I do decide to make the GoFundMe account, it would be really great if you could help us because we need a new roof that we can't afford. And there's damage in the home, and we're all having breathing problems, and we're all coughing. 
I run the fans in the windows every day to, to, to get new air in here. I mean, I don't even know. And we also need to cover these medical bills that we've been having to pay for Brandon because of all the mistakes. And we need to keep him on his medicines. So I don't know what to do first. I mean, you know, to me, what's most important is the, the kid being able to take his meds. You sit here and say, well, you could suffer with the roof. You already did a few years, but... You know, if the, if the roof ends up caving in, I, I don't know what to say. I think health is more important, but when the roof is uh, making you cough and <coughs> everybody is uh, feeling sick, you know, you can't choose between the two what's most important, but, but I would say, yes, the medicines for him are. But um, if I decide to put a GoFundMe up, it would be great if you could help us out. I... I hate to ask for things because I hate to bother people. It's nothing against me. I don't mind asking for help. I do mind when I have to ask continuously. I don't like to have to do that because I'm one that's uh, always tried to make things work on my own and not have to depend on people. And, and nothing against people. It's just that I don't like to put the burden on them. But uh, if you see a GoFundMe up, a friend told me that I should do it, and um, it would be great if you could help us out. And I'll let you know the outcome of all this. But thank you for watching, and have a great day. I'm also making these videos for reminders, because each day it goes by with all this stuff happening. You tend to forget what happens, and it's kind of like a um, like a video notebook for me, I guess. But thank you for watching, and I appreciate all your help, and take care. Stay beautiful, and I love you.